team at Trends and Sundance just sent me across this Versal AI Edge TE 950 development board. Let's take a look and see what we think of it. Okay, so here you can see the uh, a close-up of the TE 0950. We can see the DDR memory along the bottom here. We can see the CSI2 connector. Of course, in the center of the device, we've got the we've got the Versal FPGA. We have the Artix, the level shift converter that we were talking about here. And then all around this, we have the standard interfacing uh, capabilities that we, would, uh, that we would expect. We also obviously have the curvy interfacing over here. And on the, uh, on the machine here, we can see now that we're connected quite nicely to the uh, to 2302 board. And we can also see the Artix A35 uh, also. So as you see now, we've we've taken a look at the uh, taken a look at the board. I've pointed out the key highlights of it. And one of the things that's interesting to me about this board, I think, is just how normal it looks. Uh, and that might sound a little bit different, but if you look at the VMK one hundred and eighty or the VCK one hundred and ninety, you know these are big, complex boards. There's a lot on there. And if you're thinking about creating a versal system for the first time, it might be a little daunting. Uh, but when you look at actually the T nine hundred and fifty, it's really simple. It's a really nice elegant solution that has the uh, Versal sat there in the center you know you can see the Artix FPGA next to it it provides us with a lot of interfacing capability and this is something that's always a challenge on development boards actually is interfacing capability and people being able to break out signals and connect to them uh, so on this we get all of the standard things that you would expect such as USB Ethernet and so on that are connected to the to the SIP side of things, the processor side of things, and then you've got the CSI2, the curvy interface standards for high speed and low speed, and that's something we need to take a look at in a little bit more and learn about it. And then we've also got the FMC connections and the and the QSPI. So it makes for a really nice solution there to allow you to start working and prototyping your application. That FMC obviously means that we can drop in a range of FMC cards, be they display cards, be they ADCs or DACs or the whole range of the FMC we can we can leverage. And we can use the other curvy interfaces and the CSI2 interfaces as well if we want to do more more vision based, more embedded processing. Uh, based applications. So I'm looking forward to creating some projects based around this board. Uh, I think it's going to be quite popular. I think there's going to be a lot of interest in it. The price points are uh, really quite, really quite nice. So let's let's see over some blogs over the next couple of weeks and months what we what we can do with it and, and where we can take it.